so basically from here, it's pretty much free reign. Anybody want to see something? I do. You mentioned before that there was a video of um, like a muscle practitioner of uh, Chachin next to Jet Li or something like that. Um, I, I think you mentioned uh, uh, form being done side by side. Uh, huh? I can't remember the name of the gentleman at the moment, but you said it was your personal hero, so I'm sure that you know who. Cool. So what's your question? Uh, you said there is a video. He wants to watch it. Uh, I would like to see the video that you mentioned. Yeah, what's your question? Can we watch the video? Can we watch this <laughs> video? Of who? You have to yeah, can, I get it, can, I get it, can I get in the form of a question? Uh, uh, what, what, why do you want to see the whole thing? I want to uh, see it. Mostly because I, I wanted to see the difference between the two practitioners. Which two practitioners? Oh, come on now. No, yeah. just, just tell me. Seriously, oh. I don't know. I remember. Is it in the family? Yes, Jet Li is the other gentleman's name that I can't remember. Who's he? I'm uh, very bad. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Yeah, thank you so much. I did you just ask me to compare my hero and Jet Li? Yes. Yes, I did. No, okay. Uh, so here's what's going to happen. <laughs> uh, wait, no, I have a real question. Uh, uh, did you talk about uh, Southern? You did. Uh, I, I did a uh, little bit. Um, I didn't show a video last time, but I'll, I'll get to his question first. So basically, I was just playing with uh, Andrew. Uh, last well, night, he actually awesome. asked me. Uh, the, uh, he actually asked me who was better. My hero, my goofy hero, my idol, or Jet Li? Guess who I said was better? Jackie Chan. This was about a half hour uh, conversation. Okay, so, so so here's the thing. This this man's name is uh, Zhao Tongfu, and uh, he's basically my hero for multiple reasons. Uh, not the least of which is that he was a Wushu Tao champion, he was a forms champion. And uh, only one other person has ever challenged his winning record. He is the the athlete that has won the most gold medals in China. And only one other person has ever challenged his record, and that's Jet Li. Now, there's a reason for that. There's a saying that goes in uh, Wushu circles that say, uh, the 70s belonged to Jet, and the 80s belonged to Zhao Tangjun. Because those were the times, those were the decades where they dominated on the Taolu competitions. So, here's the thing though. Zhao Tangjun and Jet Li were both competing against each other in the 70s. And they were rivals. Jet Li always got first. Zhao Tangjun always got second. That's uh, pretty. Well, that's just the way it is. Okay. Now, um, of course, because Jet Li got first, he's advertised as being oh the the Wushu champion, right? But there are a lot of people that dispute that when they see Zhao Tangjun and Jet Li side by side. The reason why is because Jet Li was. Uh, Beijing Wushu team. He was the one of the first members of the Beijing Wushu team, the most famous, uh, world famous uh, Wushu team that tours around and performs. And uh, the thing about that, uh, I, I probably shouldn't be saying this because uh, my first, uh, my old Wushu coach that uh, of the Wushu school I used to go to, she was uh, one of the first generation Beijing Wushu team members, which means that she trained alongside Jet, and they knew each other, and they grew up together, and they trained together. So I shouldn't be saying this, but in my opinion, Zhao Hanjun is better. I think Zhao Hanjun is better than Jet Li. That's just my opinion. Now, I'm not saying that Zhao Hanjun is the be-all and end-all of Wushu, or that he's really better than Jet Li, even though he is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it is my opinion that I think Zhao Hanjun is better, and I think that he's a better Wushu martial artist, for multiple reasons. The first of which is that I, believe, I, I happen to believe that he's a better performer. And I'm going to show you why. So, from here. with Fun or staff in uh, the style of Changchun. And this was when his first movie, Shaolin Temple, was being uh, marketed. And he was basically touring around with the whole crew, which were all Wushu athletes. And this, this is them in Japan. 
and they all perform. And this is one of the this is one of the rare clips where you actually see Jet Li doing uh, actual wushu without any tricks or any CGI or wire works like he did uh, in a more recent video. So. <laughs> And, and this is 
only one thing I've heard, I can't, uh, I can't confirm it, but when I was in uh, Shichahai, the Beijing Shichahai Sports School, which is the home of the Beijing Wushu team, uh, which is where they train, uh, I heard uh, from one of the people that I trained with, uh, uh, his name is Hao Hao. He trains at Turk Wushu right now, and we used to train together at uh, our old Wushu school. He said that um, he thought that Jet Li apparently got in a fight with Shichahai. So apparently there was some uh, disputes uh, between him and the school that he was at, and that he left to make his movie career. Now that's a rumor. I don't know if that's true. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk shit and say that that's really what happened. But that's a rumor, and I don't know if it's true or not. But here's the thing. I decided to choose this clip because this is the closest comparison. Uh, this is the closest comparison I can find where these two are around the same age, around the same time, and they've actually been performing at the same relative time period. So here's the thing. There's only one clip of Jet Li doing competition, and it's him doing Tom Kim. And that's when he was back in 1978. Okay? One clip of him doing competition. Supposedly he's the champion of Wushu, yet there's only one clip. Again, my opinion, and again, it's just my opinion, that people should prove themselves to be called the champion. You look at all the other champions of Wushu, Yuan Wenqing, Zhao Hangjun, Zhao Langjun, they all have clips of them winning championships. Yet Jet Li does not. Why? It's pretty funny, isn't it? Now, I mean, maybe there's no reason for it. Maybe there's like, oh, we just can't find the video. But there were, there, there were clearly full color videos at that time. Yet for some reason, there's only one clip of him. Why is that? Yet there are so many clips of Zhao Hangjun performing at his best and winning. The reason why I chose these two clips is because I wanted to prove a point. But before I do that, uh, I'm going to ask again, who do you think was better? The second guy. <laughs> why? It looked like you went into the entire thing with an intensity when Jet Li sort of looked almost like you warmed up into it. Why? Uh, well, he was slower at the beginning. And he, I have no idea why I'm obviously not anywhere near that level. <laughs> Well, first of all, to be respectful, with all due respect, I'm kind of giving Jet Li a bunch of shit. Which is funny, because he used to be my hero when I was younger, and then when I matured, I found out there were a bunch of people that I found to be better than Jet Li. But that's just my opinion, okay? That doesn't mean that Jet Li's bad. He's really, really good. He had to be champion for a reason. He had to be good, right? But uh, with him and Zhao Hangjun, Jet Li always got first. And there were actually some people that did think, yes, Zhao Hangjun was better. Yet Jet Li always got first. Well, it's important to note that this was in China, hmm? where there are politics and corruption. Okay, people won't say that. Uh, people won't say that publicly, but it's it's pretty much one of those open secrets. They know that there's politics, and if you go to any wushu competition, any high-profile wushu competition, I guarantee you, you will find objective proof, not stated specifically public proof, but you will find objective proof that there is corruption and politics in wushu competitions, and. Because Beijing was the capital of China, of course the Beijing Wushu team was number one, the most well equipped and the best funded by far of all the Wushu teams across China. Of course they were the best prepared. And Jet Li was their star athlete. And he always got first. There is no explicit reason why, but for some reason he always won. And you notice that there's a trend. If you, you don't take my word for it. If you go through the whole history of the Beijing Wushu team's competitive career, look at all their star athletes. If you look at Zhao Xingjian, and right now Wang Xi is the most current uh, star athlete of the Beijing Wushu team. And I actually had the privilege of meeting Wang Xi in Shijahai, which is the summer of uh, 2010. He's actually one of my favorite athletes. Yet, he's winning now. He's, he's the current champion in his division where he competes. But there are people that say, oh, there are other people better than Wang Xi that think that they're better and that they should win, yet they don't, and Wang Xi always wins. People always say it's because these people are Beijing Wushu team, and they have politics. Now, that can't be proven. Why? Because it's China. That's just a fact, okay? And you could say, hey, that's good or bad, but that's just how it is. There are always certain people that are groomed to be champions and always win. Zhao Changjun, I believe, deserved to be the champion at the time, but for some reason, politics got in the way and he didn't get that opportunity. Until Jet Li went off to make movies and become famous, and Zhao Hangjun persevered and continued to be better and better and better. That's just my opinion. The reason why I chose those two clips is because that's literally around the same time they were 
performing. And Jet Li was making his movies, and Zhao Dongyun was still winning competitions and actually proving himself. Yet in my opinion, if I see those two side by side, I'm going to say that Zhao Dongyun is better. Now, I'm not saying that uh, he should uh, win in front of Jet Li, because I'm not a judge. I'm just an athlete, I'm a fan, I have my own opinion, that's it. Yet, I think that Zhao Dongyun is better because it's just my opinion, and I'm not saying that Jet Li is bad. But I'm saying that when I see Zhao Dongyun perform, I see him actually perform with an intensity and ferocity that has been unmatched to this day by any wushu athlete ever in the world. That's why I believe that he should have won. When he was with Jet Li, I mean, granted, when Jet Li left, the, the, the venue was open for Zhao Dongyun. He started winning everything he was, that, that was around. Because no, no one else was above him. Only Jet Li was. Only Jet Li was in his way. So then, of course, Zhao Dongyun became the champion that I believe he deserved to be. So that's the first reason that I believe that Zhao Dongyun is better than Jet Li, because he's a better Taolu performer. Purely a good Wushu performer. The second reason I think that Zhao Dongyun is better than Jet Li, and people might be butthurt of me saying this, <laughs> but uh, I think that Zhao Dongyun is actually a martial artist, a legit martial artist, as opposed to most of the Taolu athletes today, the forms athletes in modern Wushu today, that only know the forms, but don't know the applications and don't train how to fight. That's the biggest criticism of modern Wushu, that you know how to do your forms and you know how to make them look pretty and you know how to perform, but you don't know the martial meaning, you don't know the traditional martial art movements, you don't know how to fight. And the Beijing Wushu team has been criticized for being the epitome of this. They've been groomed to be top performers. Even Donnie Yen, when Donnie Yen uh, went to train with the Beijing Wushu team, uh, he said that they're like, uh, they're like circus performers, they're like Beijing opera. They only know how to perform, they don't really know how to fight. They don't really have martial intent, they're not real martial artists to me. And that's why he said he lost interest in Wushu, because he said, oh, Wushu is not the answer to martial arts. What's up? Did the duos have more good answers from being in sparring or anything like that? No, they just do that because they're forms athletes. They, they compete to perform, right, they don't compete to fight. Right, but I'm saying if they wanted to not be injured all the time. Or? Like, if they were sparring and like actually doing combat. They don't spar. Right, no, but what I'm saying is like, did they, if they actually trained them like last night, I feel like they would be more injured and they wouldn't be able to perform as often. That's not true, because Zhao Dongyun is that. Here's, okay, so here's the thing. They were Taolu athletes. That's not their fault that they don't know how to fight. It kind of is, but it's really not. Because they're, they're raised by the government, the Chinese communist government, to just be performers. They raise you to do your job, and that's all you're supposed to do. They were Taolu athletes. So that's not their fault. But the, the fact is that that shortcoming, that they don't necessarily understand the martial arts aspects, are there. Now, I'm not saying that. That's, that's the criticism that people have thrown at them, and most modern martial athletes. But Cao Zhangjun, for sure, can be the exception. Why? Because he's the actual martial artist. He actually learned traditional wushu. He learned, guess what he learned? He learned cha chen, and he learned tan tui. And not only did he learn the traditional martial art, if you were to ask him, hey, how do you qualify wushu as a martial art? How do you use this movement to fight? What is the attack and defense intention of this technique? What's the idea behind it? What's the fighting idea behind it? He can answer you, and so, and so can his coach. They can all answer you in a legit way and not bullshit it. Oh, it's just, Wushu is, is, is about the art. It's, it's, it's just the style. It's, 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 not, it's, it's really about uh, the athlete and the, the performer and the individual, not the style. Which is kind of a, a childish excuse to escape the fact that uh, Wushu lacks martial content. But Cao Zhangjun, in my opinion, is the exception. And I like him for that. Because he went past that shortcoming. And he was able to become a complete Chinese martial artist, not just a Wushu athlete. Not only that, but he had to learn the traditional martial art because he had to learn how to fight. Legit learn how to fight for real. Why? Because his dad, who was a Muslim, okay, they were Hui people, as we mentioned before. He's a Hui ethnic minority. His dad wanted him to learn actual, real Chinese martial arts, real Kung Fu, real Kung Fu, to protect his sisters. Now, I believe that, because this was during uh, uh, the, a little bit after the Cultural Revolution in China, when the communists rose up and you know Chairman Mao, Mao Zedong came up, and a lot of people were dying because of the conflict, because of the political conflict at that time. So it was very, very violent. I'm inclined to believe that he actually did have to protect himself. Now, whether or not uh, the details of, of those fights happened, of course, we don't know for sure, that those were never documented. But he did have to learn for that reason. 
At the time, he was never raised to be a wushu champion. <coughs> he was raised for one reason and one reason only. He learned martial arts to be able to fight, to be able to understand the original meaning of Chinese martial arts. And on top of that, he became a top wushu performer. So he embodied all these aspects. And not only that, I think that the, the final reason that I believe that Cao Hangyun is better than Jet Li, or is at least a better martial artist, is because he actually justifies and can qualify wushu as a martial art on his own, not just be a performer. Again, as I pointed out before, a lot of Taolu athletes, 99% of the people, including the people in the US, only know forms and only know how to perform. That's their shortcoming, that they don't not understand the martial aspect, and if they do, they don't know how to apply it. But Cao Hangyun is different. I feel that he embodies all the good parts of Wushu because he can, he can back it up. He actually did fight, and he won. Now, th these are secondhand accounts, though. They are stories. But I believe them because it makes sense. So, in my opinion, I think that Zhao Hangyun is better. And the biggest reason, actually, I think that Zhao Hangyun is better is because he actually is a thinker for Wushu. He actually is not just a fighter or a martial artist, uh, not just an athlete. Most other people uh, in Wushu today are athletes. Uh, you can't, I, I can't, in my opinion, just my opinion again, just again, just my opinion. You can't qualify them as martial artists because most of them are just tall people. They just know how to perform. That's it. They don't know the fighting aspect. And if they do, again, they can't apply because they don't train. Them. That's not their fault, but that is a shortcoming and it does exist. But Cao Changjun, Cao Hangjun is not like that. He is a fighter, he is a martial artist, and most importantly, he's, I could say, a scholar of Wushu. He thinks about the problems of Wushu, he's spoken out about the problems of Wushu, you know, oh, why do you have to do Nandu nowadays? You have to be able to jump, and if you fail that jump, even though you're a better performer, you lose in the competition. Does that make sense? And he also says that uh, most of Wushu, ever since it tried to go Olympic, has lost its original martial roots because it wanted to be a sport, it wanted to be successful. And therefore, it failed to become a legitimate martial art. And you know what? I agree with that. So in my opinion, Cao Hangjun is the epitome of Wushu. Now, so some of you are probably thinking, oh man, this guy idolizes this, this guy. You're right, I do. I put this guy on a pedestal because he, in my opinion, embodies every great aspect of a Wushu martial artist. And in my opinion, he's the best for Wushu. There's no one else like him. He embodies all the good aspects, modern, traditional, all of it. He even said that if you want to become a real, a true wushu expert, you should learn taolu and saishou, not just feng, but also sparring. He said that it's not good if you only know one method and do not know anything about the other application or other method. That's like walking with one leg, not two. You only know the forms, but you don't know how to apply them. You only know how to perform, but you don't know how to fight. Can you call yourself a martial artist if you don't know the martial part of martial arts? Isn't that what wushu means? Wushu, martial art. Where's the martial part? He also said that you should learn uh, that, you, that there is modern and traditional. You need two legs to walk. One is modern, one is traditional. You cannot give up one of them. He actually says that there is a place in modern wushu as a part of Chinese martial arts culture. And because he said that, I actually, uh, I believe that he, really, truly knows the most about Wushu. And I look up to that. He's not just an athlete, he's everything. A master, a performer, a student. You know, when he said, uh, I really loved his words. I, 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 I really started to love this guy, not because he was a performer. Anybody could be a good performer. In fact, you could argue that there are better performers than him. And that's fine, that's your opinion. But he's also a thinker, okay? He is a master, he knows, okay? And he didn't earn, he didn't, he didn't, he wasn't given that title. But I call him a master because he earned it. He proved himself. Again, my opinion, you have to prove yourself. Okay? So for me, I, I, I think that Cao Zhangjun is really the best. For that reason. But again, that's just my opinion. A lot of you are probably thinking, oh, he's giving Jeffy some shit. <laughs> I'm not saying that, uh, again, again, I'm not saying that Jet Li is bad. He's obviously very good. But I, I like Johnson more. Yeah, that's basically it. The, fu the funny thing is that, the, 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 the funny thing is that uh, I was actually, 
Um, one of my one of my close friends told me that um, he said that oh Donnie is better than Jet Li, and I was like, hey, you know what? You're right. Because <laughs> I mean, I mean, in my opinion, Donnie is a better martial artist than Jet Li. That doesn't mean that Jet Li's uh, bad. I just think that there are other people better than Jet Li. But that that's that's just my opinion. That doesn't mean that it's true. It's, it's subjective. So that's how it is. Anyways, that's it. <laughs>